Hello, uh, in this video I'm gonna talk about a little bit about the sources of errors in numerical analysis. Uh, since these days we use uh, uh, a lot of uh, programs and uh, software to numerically solve our problems, uh, even in uh, scientific calculators uh, to solve uh, uh, the root of nonlinear equations or uh, numerical integrations and so on. I thought it's a good idea to uh, a little talk about uh, the sources of errors in numerical computations. So the question is why we use uh, numerical analysis. Uh, the main purpose uh, of numerical analysis or computational analysis or scientific computing, whatever you call it, is to develop uh, efficient and accurate numerical methods to compute approximations to quantities that are difficult or impossible to obtain by analytic means. In other words, whenever you have a problem uh, for which you cannot find a closed form solution, uh, then you have to try uh, obtain this uh, the solution of that problem by a numerical method by an appropriate numerical method. Uh, why this error estimation and uh, reduction is very important for each numerical analysis, it is argued that the main goal of uh, computational analysis is rapid convergence. Uh, but uh, we have to also be careful about the uh, error estimation and reduction because we don't want to obtain uh, answers which are not accurate and uh, that's the main danger of using a numerical analysis if we are not aware of uh, the source of such errors. So in, uh, in this video I'm gonna talk about those sources of error uh, in numerical and computational analysis. So the first type of error is error in given input data. So let me just write it down. Uh, error in given input data. Or I can say errors. So uh, whenever you have measurements then you have input data and that input data can be uh, contaminated by different types of errors. Uh, it should be noted that we have to be careful to distinguish between systematic errors and random errors uh, for such input data. So we have uh, systematic errors and we have random errors. So, uh, systematic error can happen uh, by insufficiencies or inaccuracies in the construction of an instrument of measurement. So, uh, the tool that you are measuring data with uh, may malfunction or has some bugs inside. Uh, so uh, such, uh, such an error is the same in each trial. So that's systematic error. Random error depends on the variation in the experimental environment, which cannot be controlled. Uh, so uh, for, for this type of uh, error, uh, for a given input data, we have these two types of uh, error systematic and random. The second type of error uh, is rounding error during the computations. So let me just write it down. The second type is rounding errors. during computations. So 
whenever you have an irrational number uh, such as uh, the pi number uh, and when it is shortened or rounded off to a fixed number of digits uh, or when a decimal fraction is converted to the binary form used in the computer then you have a rounding error for example let's say uh, you consider the pi number which is 3.1415 nine two six five and so on and you want it to have just uh, four decimal digits of that then uh, you get three point fourteen and one and then six because the digit after five is nine greater than uh, four and uh, it is rounded to six the next digit is rounded to 6 so uh, this kind of uh, shortening or rounding off uh, results in rounding errors uh, in your calculation uh, the limitation of floating point numbers in a computer leads sometimes to a loss of information that depending on the context may or may not be important so that's the second type of error that you have to be aware of in your numerical analysis. The third type of error is truncation error. Truncation error. Truncation errors uh, actually occur when uh, for example an infinite series is broken off after a finite number of terms or when a derivative is appro approximated with a difference quotient uh, for example assume that uh, you have a series a simple series infinite series like uh, summation of uh, i equals one to infinity of two i very simple so it's going to be 2 times 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 2 times 3 plus uh, the rest of the series. So when you, for example, uh, just consider the first uh, three terms of uh, this infinite series, you are actually uh, truncating uh, this series and the rest is uh, ignored so uh, that's the fundamental of uh, or the fundamental concept of that truncation error for an infinite series uh, absolutely uh, three terms is very rough uh, you need to consider more terms but for the sake of uh, example I just uh, um, consider three terms or for example when you have a derivative uh, and you consider a difference quotient then you have a truncation error or you can uh, name it discretization error for example for uh, let me change the color to green uh, f prime x is derivative of f over x so we write like this and if you just consider the uh, difference quotient of that like delta f over delta x this is an approximation of the uh, derivative of f so that's also a truncation error or a discretization error that uh, you can uh, think of Another example could be a nonlinear function whenever it is approximated with a linear function as in uh, Newton's method that uh, I explained in the in previous video. Uh, so you have to also be careful between uh, truncation error and rounding error. So please just uh, distinguish between do these two uh, types of error a fourth type of error is related to simplifications we make 
uh, in the mathematical or engineering models. So the fourth one is simplifications in the models. By models, I mean mathematical models, physical or engineering models. Uh, in most applications of uh, mathematics, physics and engineering, we make some idealizations. Uh, for example, in a mechanical problem uh, for uh, spring and mass, so this is mass and this is a spring with uh, the coefficient of k. Uh, so we may assume that the, sp the spring is uh, linear. And we may also assume that the mass is homogeneous. Uh, so it is advantageous to consider that the mass is homogeneously filled uh, instead of being built of atoms uh, or in a pendulum problem similar to that we may assume that the spring the string is massless the mass is zero so we idealize that problem uh, or for calculations in economics we may assume that the rate of interest is constant over a given period of time uh, the effects of such uh, sources of error uh, are usually more difficult to estimate than the types that uh, I just mentioned above for the first three types of errors. Uh, so uh, it's good to consider these simplifications and the errors that these simplifications uh, actually uh, incur in our numerical calculations. So the last but not least type of error is human error or machine error. So number five, human errors or machine errors. Uh, we have to pay attention that in all numerical uh, work, uh, clerical errors uh, may occur, errors in hand calculation, and uh, even misunderstandings uh, can happen. Uh, even we should uh, be aware that textbooks, tables, uh, formulas uh, may contain errors, or even this video. I'm, jo I'm joking actually. <laughs> so, uh, when uh, one uses computers, uh, uh, he or she can expect errors in the program itself, uh, typing errors in entering the data, operator errors, and even pure machine errors, uh, which is less frequent. So uh, all these type of errors related to a human factor uh, or even machine error uh, should be considered as a source of numerical or computational error in our calculations. So there are a lot of complexities in real-world problems and engineering and practical uh, applications. Uh, and uh, given these complexities and difficulties in understanding those problems, uh, Actually, uh, understanding the general principles of numerical methods can save much time in the preparation of a program as well as in the computer runs. It is strongly encouraged that uh, we use quality uh, control programs and software uh, wherever possible because uh, there are is a lot of experience and profound uh, theoretical analysis behind those uh, programs and software and we don't need to reinvent the wheel but uh, 
in case we need to prepare our program or software for our project uh, or uh, for a thesis or dissertation, we have to be aware of such uh, limitations and uh, errors that we may have in our numerical analysis. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, also, if this video helped you in any way, please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our content and would like to see more. Thank you.